How's it guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Williams if you haven't watched any of my videos before. So today is the 1st of December 2012 which is my wedding anniversary which is really awesome. Unfortunately Cam is working today so it's just me home alone at the house but it's also the 1st of December which means it's the first day of the Christmas sort of advent so I'm gonna have my first advent calendar chocolate now and also it's vlogmas so this is day two of vlogmas so i thought that in today's video i will first i need to wrap a present and then what i'm going to do is i kind of feel like taking off this makeup and doing like a new look just because i'm home alone and i just feel like playing with some makeup so i think that'll be cool i'll show you guys some of the products that i'm using at the moment like my everyday makeup products and yeah make some coffee and then just uh mooch or chill around the house a little bit so let's start by having our first chocolate in our christmas advent calendar so just so you know the disclaimer i'm one of those people who have an advent calendar like every single year and i'm 28 and i'm freaking pregnant with my first child and i still have my own advent calendar so yeah so as you can see we've got two this one's a kind of cheapy one i got from a fix and goodie bag and this one looks like it's melted. I don't know if it's just me, but these do not look good. Let me open this. Yeah, that chocolate does not look kosher. Anyway, let me eat cams for now. But anyway, I bought this one yesterday in Woolworths. How do you get this out? Okay, I found it. It was kind of a little broken, but here it is. It was a little bow, like a, a candy can. Guys, this hairstyle though, <laughs> not looking great. But let me eat my Christmas advent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is first of December eaten. Mm, that chocolate's not bad actually. I mean, so Cam and me actually never really give gifts for wedding anniversaries. It's kind of just always been. Not tradition but just a thing that we've just never really done and we've always kind of preferred to do something on our anniversary like go away or have a cool experience together like i mean two years ago we went up table mounds and had a lovely picnic so we're just not really like huge gift givers when it comes to anniversaries i don't know why um but this year i actually i'm a little bit snacky today and i love cream caramel but this year i decided to actually buy cam a gift because we're not really doing anything that fun because he's super busy at work and he just doesn't really have any time off and he's working like the entire day today anyway. So I bought him something that he really wanted. I had a voucher from Woolworths. So I bought him some perfume slash cologne. I think it's called cologne when. Because his ran out and he like absolutely loves um Hugo Boss, so I bought him this gift set because we also had like buy two beauty items, get 20% off. So I just bought like a cheaper beauty item for 100 Rand and then ended up getting like an awesome discount with my voucher. I hardly had to pay in much at all. So I bought him this really cool Hugo Boss gift set. Before these in the box, guys, it like looks so luxe and really really beautiful i'll actually like kind of unbox it for you <laughs> so you guys can see how cool it looks just a little pudding break okay so take the cover so basically it was the um 100 ml perfume plus a deodorant stick kind of interesting but it works out like this is the same price as buying the bottle on its own so i just thought i'll pull the little freebies and then you get a, a 50 ml shower gel, which is actually such a cool little thing because sometimes Cam goes to Joburg and it's nice to have a few little small travel items. So I'll show you guys close up here. So yeah, the whole box just smells so good. So yeah, let's wrap this quickly. And I'm just gonna take like a massive handbag with me somewhere when we go out and then I'm gonna surprise him with the gift. I don't know when yet. Okay, let's quickly wrap this gift. I literally only have Christmas wrapping paper, but Cam is so low maintenance, he is not even gonna care slash notice. Let's take the price off. Oh no, I just peeled off my nail. Uh, it says 
to like peel off, but it's like the world's hardest thing to peel off. Okay, I got it. Okay. Guys, it like, it just closes. Like, look at this. I have like the worst estimation, like when it comes to wrapping paper. I'm actually just a bad wrapper in general. And Cam always wraps all of our Christmas presents for us. But I never ever wrap them because I just suck at wrapping so much. And it, like pains him to even watch me wrapping them because he's like, you're just so bad at wrapping. Like, don't you just get like so excited when you have a present for someone and you know that they have no idea what it is? Like, it's just like the best feeling. Paper, but I'm happy with that. That is good enough for me. Maybe I'll be like extra and put a little bow on it. Okay, fine. It was actually like pretty small, so it might not really work. It might just be like a really baby bow, but well, I mean, the only bow that I could find that looked good. Like all the bows I had were bright and like purple, and yeah, that'll do. Listen, this is a guy's present. They're not really going to care if there's a bow or not. Okay guys, so I'm keen to do my makeup now with you. Um, I'm first gonna go remove my makeup with a little bit of my Body Shop Camel Cleansing Balm that I've spoken about a lot with you guys. I love it. And um, then I'll come back and we can do a makeup look together. <laughs> All right, so now that I look a bit washed out and sick, I've just used my Body Shop Camel um, Cleansing Butter, whatever it's called to remove most of my makeup. But then what I'm just gonna do is take a micellar water, I've got the Neutrogena Skin Detox one here, and a cotton swab, and just clean up the like mascara residue from under my eyes. Okay, cool, that looks a lot neater. Uh, normally, if I was like doing my makeup in the morning, I'd probably start by putting on an SPF, but it's kind of late in the afternoon and I'm not going to be going out, so I probably won't put an SPF on now. But what I am going to apply is a little bit of the Theravine Balancing Pinotage Face Oil. Um, just because my skin is feeling a little bit dry and I feel like it needs just a little bit of moisture to it. This is actually quite a nice oil. So I don't use too much because obviously I don't want my skin to be like oily, but I just press it in. Yeah, that's really nice. And then what I'm going to use over that is the Sothe's uh, Instant Energizing Corrector. Um, it's just nice to use as a base, you know, for your makeup. There, you can see the texture there. It's kind of like a primer. Just to like smooth out the skin and balance out the skin. So I'm going to take my um, Revlon Candid Photo Ready Foundation. And um, I'm using the shade 240. It's a little bit light for me. Um, and it's just Cam saying hello. Um, but yeah. And I've been using my buffing brush lately. And I'm actually really enjoying the finish. So... I'm just gonna use that now and I just kind of press it into the skin. As you can see here, the finish of the foundation is really lovely, um, especially by taking the time to put like a little facial oil on and um, hydrating the skin before. It really makes a massive difference to how the foundation looks and application, like what tools you're using. So when people ask me like what I did for my anniversary, oh, I sat at home and I played with makeup. For concealer, I'm going to now use my um, sponge, which is really dirty, and I'm going to dampen it with this. You know, you always use concealer in like a downward triangle, don't just like, you know, on either side. And I'll put some more concealer now on the brow once I start with my brows. Okay. And then I just like pat this in, you know, really lightly. But yeah. I've just got like a spot here. I'm not even going to bother concealing it since it's just me at the house. And then for brows, at the moment, I'm using and loving my Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Brow Perfector in the shade Brown 04. Absolutely love this. And it's got the most amazing, like super, super fine um, tip. Okay. So I start by like just defining the brow at the top 
with the arch. And I do the same underneath. So just take the other end and I use it to sort of clear up, neaten up and disperse the product in between those two lines. Like a little bit natural. And then what I do is I just do, I'm gonna do a few like little hair-like strokes in the middle just to define the brow. Okay, cool. So I'm happy with that. I like quite like thick, fluffy brows personally. I feel like a very thin brow does not suit my face. Like lighten that area and highlight it really nicely. Cool, that's nice and neat. And now I want to quickly set underneath my eye and I'm going to use my little um, contour brush actually and the Elizabeth Arden Translucent Powder in shade 01 and I lightly set under the eyes. I just press it in, I don't like, like I lightly dab it in. Okay cool, should we do a little bit of eyeshadow? I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of gold all over the lid. Guys, I'm like not a professional makeup person at all, so these are just like how I do makeup, really. So I always just put like nice bronze over the lid. Like if you wanted to do like a natural daytime look, you could literally just wear this on its own. Like it would just be so like just subtle and pretty. And um, okay, now I'm going to take my shade um, Wild Hearts. This is from the Urban Decay um, Born Trump palette. And I'm just gonna pack on a bit of color here. Kind of like from halfway. And then I just blend it out. Like, guys, like I said, I'm super like amateur when it comes to makeup. But I just know that like blending is really important. <laughs> and then I just like to pack on, so I'm gonna take the shade Hull Ride, which is this one over here. And then like, that's the darkest one and kind of pop that in the deeper corners of the eye. Yeah, I'll dab on that little bit of color and then I build if I feel like it if I feel like it can take, you know, more color then I do so. And don't be scared because you can actually always like conceal over if you're not happy with how it looks. And then what I usually do at the end is go in with a little bit extra gold, you know, in the corner. I'm gonna do an eyeliner soon. But first, shall we uh, maybe use a little bit of blush? I'm gonna use the Essence Hey Cheeks Blush Bronzer and Highlighter Palette. This is such an awesome and affordable product, guys, and I love having this sort of in my collection of things. And let us start with a nice bronzer. Just make sure to like blend it as best as possible. And then I'm just going to take this. Normally I'd actually use like a highlighter brush, but I don't feel like getting up. I'm just going to highlight here. Just, you know, at the top of the cheek. And then sometimes I put like a little touch here and then a little bit down the nose. Not too bright. And then I'm going to use my eyeliner and I literally am using a super budget one at the moment. It's the Essence Liquid Ink. I have to be honest with you guys, this is a great budget buy, but when you compare and you wear high-end ones, then you will see that the high-end ones can make a huge difference in terms of like longevity and stuff. But if you are on a budget, this is a great option. Nice swing there. I'll show you. I'll zoom in. Yeah. So you can see that I've done like a proper wing. And then I'll just keep it zoomed in for the other side. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's continue. I'm almost done with the look. I'm just gonna do some lip and then some mascara. So for lip, I've really been enjoying the Sorbet Lip Liner. I don't know what shade this is in. It doesn't say on it. Then what I'm actually gonna do is just pair it with a super simple gloss. So I'm gonna use the Me Cosmetics Slashes Lip Sheen in the shade um, Relish 03. And I just like that I combine this with a lip liner. A, it lasts longer and B, just the color looks so good. It's just really natural, you know? 
Okay, cool, so that looks good. Okay, and then like ready to end the look, I wanted to use my Lizard Art Mascara, but I can't find it, which is fine. I'll use the Essence Olive Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I really do love this, but lately I've been wearing it and it does feel like it's smudging a bit, so I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong or like some sort of skincare product that's making my skin like oilier under the eyes. I don't know, but it's not setting as nicely. So this is the finished look. You guys can see I really love the finish of this foundation. The lip color has come out really nicely and the purple really makes my eyes pop. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some inspiration to maybe try a few new products and everything that I've used here is stuff that I've been using like for long periods of time. There's nothing here that's really new in my makeup collection. So it's all products that I know and love and trust. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching day two of Vlogmas. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so now and hit the bell so that you can get notifications of future videos. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.